Okay, my name is Teresa Riemann. Um, tonight I play the drums and I sing, but I also play piano and guitar. Nico. Oh, thank you. My name is Rieko. <laughs> um, I play viola tonight, uh, but I play piano. Uh, I'm Antti Virtaranta. I play bass. And I'm Ruben Tenenbaum and I play violin. Well, there's people who tell me it's because my father said mu women cannot improvise. <laughs> Real? I'm not sure if this is the truth. Well, Actually, I have no answer for this question. Yeah, Real? Your father said that? Yes. That's harsh. Well, he was also a musician, but he, w he was yeah. convinced. So. Real? Yeah. No. I don't know. We do really a lot of improvise, I think. I mean, I started from jazz, or I, I played a uh, classic and jazz and da da da, and then. Um, I still remember the first uh, class, like in jazz class, they called like to improvise, like, ah, do you know what to do? And like, I have no idea what to do actually, and like, shit, what to do? But that was maybe the first improvisation somehow to get into it. And then after that, more and more and more and more and more, and I met so many electronics musicians or pre jazz or all those people, so then studied more improvised I mean, yeah get into it and then what 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 was the question sorry uh, for me it was uh, <laughs> i started playing rock music and then slowly getting into like funk and uh, an electric bass and then so like the evolution was like for more freer music and then it was uh, jazz because it has parts of improvisation and then i said okay it's limited with the uh, chord changes and these kind of things and then uh, Slowly, gradually, it's like evolving into uh, free jazz and then improvised music, and then kind of everything is open. So it's, I think it was kind of for me it was complete the uh, evolution of uh, yeah, this kind of yeah, that's it. No, I was really lucky because I met friends who said like, hey, you know, like uh, we make some free music. Like, what is it? Like basically, you just blast <laughs> more or less. <laughs> like, <laughs> And it was already like this, and then slowly, slowly like, we shaped it somehow, and we continued to do it. And yeah, still with these friends, and with a lot of more. So it's like a big uh, yeah, love story. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic. <Yeah. laughs> I said the listening is not the same. Huh? The way you listen is not the same. It's like you're more uh, passive, but like uh, when you know what will happen, like the attention goes to some some different things, different details. When like uh, you have to, when you're always on the edge, yeah, like uh, that's going on with the improvised music. Then like uh, the attention is is like less maybe on what you're doing yourself. But also more to what the other has, the other has to do. Otherwise, you're dead. Huh. I, think for, uh, I think it's also uh, for me. It's kind of uh, with uh, predetermined music. It's like uh, you prepare for that exact moment of playing it. And in, in I think in this improvisation, you kind of develop a vocabulary or your sense, and then you just have to be able to go with the moment like uh, depending on who you're playing with or whatever it calls or like whatever you think at the moment you say ah now I hear this and I can do it and then uh, so you kind of prepare for like the unexpected so then uh, you you practice your proficiency in whatever way you want but then so that you're prepared to just react to your own instinct kind of thing and I think and also playing with people, it's uh, really nice because they bring th different things out of you. Whereas with prepared music, you know what to expect, and then you can say that this was correct or incorrect. <laughs> but then, <laughs> but then like, uh, but this it's also like uh, you can have this kind of feelings with improvisation also, where you think, I don't think that was so uh, in my direction. Ex yeah, yeah. It's something like this, and then, but then you just have to have this. Uh, go more with the instinct but then I think the proficiency on your instrument has, is almost the same that you have to be very like able to do it yeah. I think for me it's like that you cannot really reproduce anything I mean things yes but not actions 
I think for me this is a big difference. I actually hate to make a repetition. And even if I have a very great song that I composed, after I played it the five time, fifth time live, I'm very bored of it. And I think I can reproduce it for the audience and try to make it feel like it was the same song with the same emotions. But for me it's unbearable because it's not. And so for me I think that is in the end the reason why I like this. Can I have a second? No, you're already like this. <laughs> Absolutely not. Go, go, continue. Yeah. Good. No, I think for me that's really that if you want to reproduce life in art, I think that improvisation or situationism or however you want to call it is the way because I think for the rest it's... Well, I'm not talking about an orchestra, it's something else, okay, I'm sure. No, 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 the, <laughs> yeah. it's finished for you. Yes, yeah. it's good. Yeah. It, no, it's it, that there are also musics where like, also it's reproduced, you can change them a bit. So uh, like, uh, I don't know, it's like in the daily life, it's like... Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure because I learned classical and the, the, all the stuff. And the classical music always like um, aim to the perfect on the day of the concert. You have to calculate it somehow to not to be tired, but still you aim to be a part of your body. So you are singing the music when the perfectly on the day of so it's not from reading or anything it's just i mean of course like solo piano recital whatever for that then it's always like this so that in that sense of the singing part or how to say like musical level somehow for me kind of needs to be similar way like also the improvisation also at the moment but what I'm feeling, what I'm producing that moment needs to be uh, from my, what, what I want to say, like right now. So that um, it, it's like the goal is similar, but it's just a different process for me that one is really uh, produced to be part of me and one is, I don't know, like if I played the most beautiful sound or best sound or I didn't calculate it how crescendo it goes or decrescendo goes or anything like that but the moment I think the composition goes so that it, it's uh, for me musicality wise if I talk it, it's just really different but music needs to be coming from us that's what I think For me, yeah. it's like, uh, what's to fail? Like for improvisation also, like what's to fail? Like also the classical music, like maybe if we make a mistake, one note in a classical music nowadays is, is fail or something, but it's not, hey, come on. Like my friend actually made in the piano recital, my, but when I was really young, like friends was young too. And then she, he, she was playing Beethoven sonata, appassionato, still remember. And then she forgot at some point then she started to playing something else, like in the Beethoven style. <laughs> and now everybody, shit. Like, who knows the music? Knows, like, she's improvising. Yeah, yes. But that improvisation, so amazingly done. <laughs> all the audience, and she went back to, the, whenever she remembers the point, that Zach, and it started again, the point. It was a mo really beautiful moment, I really thought, that moment, wow, man, why not? And also, my teacher was very nice, because the theory teacher was telling, like, hey, like, Beethoven or Schumann or whoever it is, they write like this because there is rules. But those rules are sometimes so shit. So why don't we change? And <laughs> we started to changing those stuff. It's so amazing. It's there, like, why not? There are rules because, like, we made the rules out of what we're, they were doing yeah. and most of the time improvising. Yeah. Like all these people, they were improvisers. <coughs> and like um, when I noticed, for example, in Turkish music, and I say, okay, this is the rule of the modality and whatever. Mm -hmm. But like when you take compositions, like <laughs> sometimes, like on the first bar of the stuff, like there is an exception. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She said, don't and care. Yeah. Like it's Usually the rules. And it fits uh, in the yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. 
just rules are making for only for the mainstream people. That's why they wanted to have it, but it's not for everybody always. So I, I liked it. I was really lucky to have these kind of people around to always like, no, this is stupid rule. If you right now, then this would be like this is more, much more interesting and beautiful. They will change that uh, classical music too. That's. Yeah. I think an interesting thing is also because uh, both of uh, these groups were like kind of set bands <coughs> almost. So for us, it's like I think also looking at failed improvisation or not. Like we actually can talk about it, but honestly, with the, within our the uh, groups. Yeah, have you ever had a failed improvisation on you? On or, your well, no, no, no. But I think there's like, always uh, think always how you felt. Uh, there's al say? there's always this kind of thing where, uh, I mean, we talk about uh, after after yeah. we play, then we say, ah, oh, but. This this uh, concert was maybe not uh, as good as the one the yeah, previous yeah, one okay. or uh, yeah. some uh, like this kind of discussion. So I think it's uh, also very different because uh, I I don't think we have expectations, but then we we kind of see sometimes we say, oh but it was so much nicer uh, yeah. this time compared to that time or something like this. I don't it's know if you guys have the same kind. I of think like generally when you're working long time with someone, yeah. you're more respectful. Yeah. I think we also do like that. If some of us didn't like what happened, there's a well, but on this fifth piece, really, I didn't know mm. what to do at all with this. But normally, like with this, we play for a long time together. So normally I realize, okay, the audience mm. doesn't realize. Mm. So, and we also work with, yeah, like if you have a long time uh, group together, which is mm. improvised, something different, improvising like on an improvised festival with other people. It already happened to me that I went on the stage, I went to someone else and I said, what are you doing? I'm going off the stage because I felt not it was just bad, I felt it was very respectless what he was doing. Mm -hmm. But it happened to me one time actually and for the rest I didn't never feel like oh this is a fail. Mm -hmm. And there I just felt helpless, I didn't know what to do anymore and I didn't want to be part of this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so we free we learn nothing more from ourselves. Like uh, like we like we're playing like every day uh, like and with the same sounds like going yeah. <laughs> again and again and sometimes oh, okay like the, yeah I mean that's it yeah. we take another another direction but like <clears throat> of course we repeat ourselves every night like most of thing like we cannot like we can change some things okay like maybe like there are times changing times also with what we leave outside of the stage. It's a lot actually inside, uh, but we do most of the same stuff with everyone. But like when we play with different people, then it leads to somewhere else. Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Different colors. But no sur surprise. No, I, I I don't know if I have time to really surprise either. <laughs> like how to say, like um, I when I'm improvising, I don't. Do you think something? I don't think I think anything. But I think uh, it just goes. I think the goal is to stop thinking. Yeah. I think this yeah. moment of oh. being surprised by yourself is the drug uh, we're in for in this kind <laughs> of music. <laughs> <laughs> and it it does in the, it's the moment when it happens. It can be actually you do the same you always do, yeah. but you stop judging and it feels great. I learned this also in improvised music. It happened to me. I had an improvised music project. Yeah. And it happened in my brain, something flipped. So every time it sounded really great, I thought I'm repeating myself. And one day I realized, no, it's not. It's just, I confuse, it sounds really good with, I'm repeating a pop riff. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, yeah that's nice. Because the head, uh, yeah. 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 it's a question. <laughs> the head, like, everyone yeah, has a question of the head. But I think the only thing and is I like, know, ask, I th ask here. <laughs> uh, uh, the only thing is, like, I think uh, the other people bring you into like a like like an un unknown territory. I think, like, when you improvise, then the other people are actually like m maybe dragging you mm. or like uh, or like pulling you in a direction that maybe you you then go like, wow, well, okay, I would I would never have gone in this direction now, but then and then you maybe are interested or like surprised by the direction the music goes i think that's why it's, it's good because like we all do a lot of different things with different uh, people different projects and like it's time it's, it's really nice like when we come from time to time with like with the, sp the people we know and i say ah okay like how are you doing like like we would sit and what we actually do like on the table with a beer like hey, how are you we do it with music as a whole. 
Thank you.